journey with me to the fascinating Gulf state of Bahrain. Bahrain has been known by many names over the centuries. It was called Tylos by the Greeks and Mishmahig by the Persians. Its fresh water and strategic location in the Arabian Gulf have brought many to its shores, and in times past it was regarded as the site of the biblical Garden of Eden. Around 2300 years BC, Bahrain became a center of one of the ancient empires trading between Mesopotamia, now known as Iraq, and the Indus Valley, now the region near India. Some things have not changed. Today, this island state, actually a cluster of 33 islands off the east coast of Saudi Arabia, is a major center for trade, telecommunications and finance in the Middle East. Touched down with Gulf Air and I was off to explore Bahrain streets, where I discovered some reminders of the past like the traditional Arab architecture, which captures the breeze and keeps the flat-roofed buildings cool in the desert heat. Despite the warm weather, the drinking of coffee is a traditional part of a Bahraini welcome and you should take the time to enjoy the brew, enhanced with cardamom and saffron. You can buy those spices and many more from the region for yourself in the souk or local market. And what's this here? This one garlic bread. This is garlic? Garlic bread. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. So this is for, uh, for Indian cooking, yeah? Well, there's quite a big Indian community here in Bahrain, so of course you can get all the Indian spices and products at the market. And what is this? It's a dry lemon. You don't need dry lemon. Oh, I see. You've, they've dried right out, yeah? yeah? And how do you cook that? Yeah, for cook. You cook it? Yeah. And, yeah? This is coriander. This is coriander. This is mustard seeds. Oh, yeah, these are very good. Yeah. And this one, I don't know, I don't recognize this. Iranian. From Iran? From Iran, this one. And what is it? Called banak. 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 And what do you do with this? You cook this in a curry? Fry this one. Fry and eat. Wow. I've never seen this one before. Almonds, yeah. Is it? And this is pumpkin tea, yeah? Very nice. And the rice? This is coconut oil. Oh, this is coconut. Oh, yeah. That looks good. This one. Look at that. Oh! <laughs> Can I taste some? Yeah, sure. Okay. Mmm. Dry coconut. Very yeah. good. Wow, you got everything. Yeah. Mm. The Arabian or Persian Gulf is one of the saltiest bodies of water on Earth, and the fishermen will tell you that that enhances the flavor of the fish. A visit to the fish markets is a learning experience. This is fish. What is it? Birdfish. In uh, Arabic, bird it's birdfish. Birdfish. This is better than macro. Very no nice. bone. No bone. No skin. No bones. No skin. And no scales. It's very nice. Yeah? Better than cheap burger. Yes. <laughs> better than a hamburger. Better than Kentucky. Much better than a hamburger. I'd this agree with you. This is seafood. Yes. Gal. Yes. You know gals? And did you catch? Some guy was a catch for me, I just by chasing. Yeah, and you sell here every day, do you? At the yeah, every day. Yeah. I have I then headed out into the desert in search of some green, and there was a lot more than I expected. This was the first 18-hole green course in Bahrain. 
Designed by the US-based Carl Litton, the first seven holes are on a dramatic wadi terrain and the remaining 11 holes lay around and over four lakes. It's hard to believe we're right out in the middle of the desert, but Rifa Golf Course is the only green course here in Bahrain. Now, you can avoid this hot weather and play at night. The back nine is fully floodlit. But of course, if you do enjoy playing in the day, I'd suggest the early mornings. Nearly 63 hectares, it is a true oasis in the desert and is irrigated by recycled wastewater brought in from the sea, factories and various plants. The impressive clubhouse includes a restaurant, bar and a shop where you can fully outfit yourself if you arrived in Bahrain without your golf kit. While horse racing flourishes in this region, the camel is still regarded as a noble racing beast. You'll discover camel farms like this one, where these ships of the desert are the offspring of camels brought to the island in the 1700s. If you'd like to meet some other animals in a more natural setting, you can head to the Al Areen Wildlife Park and Reserve. It was established in 1975 as a unique experiment in conservation, inspired by the Crown Prince's long-standing interest in falconry and wildlife in general. This is a lovely day trip away from the city. The eight square kilometer enclosure is planted with over 100,000 plants and trees and is home to more than 500 animals and an array of exotic birds. Make sure you take your camera. Four-legged inhabitants include the Arabian oryx, which is virtually extinct in the wild, Persian gazelle, springbok, impala, fallow deer, and Chapman zebra. <laughs> 